biggest collection down here. <laughs> so uh, I started this as a hobby. Uh, I think my first piece was uh, uh, like these guys, right, this guy right here. Uh, so I like uh, Breaking Bad. So uh, I started with a, uh, like this is my first color piece though. Like I've been making iPhone cases and stuff for like almost three years and with Shapeways and um, that like I started dabbling into color printing with that when when I started when break, uh, Breaking Bad came out and then um, I uh, did a, co a couple. This is my first political piece. <laughs> I've um, seen this. I didn't know that was here. Are you local or? Are you local or? Uh, well, like yeah, this is like yeah, this is uh, well. See, this was my first one and uh, political piece and it actually pr went pretty viral. Uh, so I started doing more all the, more other pieces. Uh, um, because I'm like, well, and it's making money, let's see what happens. Uh, this one actually got featured on a Chris Matthews show. Uh, uh -huh. If you look at if you Google Chris Christie 3D printer, you're going to see a bunch of links of it. Mm. Uh, but uh, so that was my first piece, and then my second piece, my political one, I forgot which one was the second one. <laughs> yeah, but like my, my, my most viral one was the Putin one. Uh, pretty much I want to find a way to insult the uh, Putin leader, uh, so I made him in a ship of a butt plug. And, uh, <laughs> and that's what you get every time. That's a good one. So, uh, like, I was when Savannah time. sent me that, I was like, are these safe for work? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you can tell him it's a chess piece. So, uh, like, so that's that's good, that's what I'll tell my 11 year old instead of, <laughs> instead of the other. So that, that was my second piece um, that got like, that, this one is actually more viral, but I actually sold more on those. Um, I guess it's because people don't want to buy a bug plug. Then I made a, uh, <laughs> I made like a, this is the Westboro Baptist Church guy. Oh, uh, I saw that one recently. Yeah. Uh, this is the uh, Doug Dynasty, uh, <laughs> Phil Robertson. Uh, this is uh, Rick Scott, right here for the like, from Florida. You're all of the Putin one again, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is uh, like uh, Rick Scott. This is a different, another one. Is Rick Scott right here too. Uh, this is uh, Rob Ford from uh, Toronto. Oh God! And it comes with a little. Uh, <laughs> it's all red. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> and, uh, all these are made out of pictures, so like this uh, picture quality. Uh, if you look at their faces, their eyes and stuff, mm -hmm. they're graphed by uh, by actual face. Uh, this one is a uh, uh, rock a crack. Uh, <laughs> And it's a pink donut. They both come with it, and uh, they both are made out of. This is made out of like a pile of crack. Uh, the picture. Oh, you actually got the picture, and then you extracted it, the image from. Yeah, the like, so that, like you can like put uh, overlay a picture. So that's why like most of them are really good quality, uh, like in picture wise. It's awesome. This is the uh, another Chris Christie because I'm like oh whatever. Let's let's do a plug. We don't make fun of any women. Uh, I'm just kidding. I, I only have <laughs> one idea for a woman, but I haven't made it. But I don't know how that would go. But then I get to make a buckle. So, yeah, so you better stick with it. <laughs> you're the troll. So all of your full colors are shapeless. Yeah, all of these. Well, I one uh, like one Aside of the, from the ones that you paint yourselves. Yeah, yeah. These are like all the colors are uh, shaped ways. The cases are shaped ways. I have like almost uh, sixteen or eighteen models. Uh, for the iPhone four for the iPhone 5, and then some of them have like full col uh, cover on the side. They have money clip, they have a, a, a holder, they have a, a bottle opener, some of them have a bottle opener, some of them have a, a kickstand so you can kick it open. Uh, so I have a 16 of these, and this is a strong and flexible. This is color sandstone, and uh, these are my, my own personal prints. Uh, this is, well, anyways, I, if you want, I can go over later, but this is just a, uh, Marco Rubio, this is Ron Paul, this is uh, Shamu, a uh, political uh, thing I made for uh, oh, so <laughs> oh, Ted Cruz, uh, this is the uh, African uh, main child guy, uh, this is uh, what is called uh, Samuel Jackson from uh, Pop Function, Pop Function, Pop Function, <laughs> and um, this is uh, Mitch McConnell, this is the uh, product of my Breaking Bad. And uh, Heisenberg, Buddha, so uh, <laughs> why not? So, some of the stuff that I made on uh, my printers are uh, like this is the Groot uh, pulling a rocket, uh, Messenger C, it's an old school uh, cartoon. 
And this is one of my characters that I made a while ago. Uh, I so I just revived him. I made him into Those are probably your most popular ones right now, right? The spray paint guys? Yeah, because, uh, like, pretty much what I found out, like, for to print something like this, it's like $30, uh, $25. Uh, so I can't really go too big. The bigger I go, the more expensive it gets. I had a Game of Thrones throne. And it was going to be to be three uh, printed like a correct size would be like two hundred dollars. Yeah, my base was like one hundred and eighty. Just with that much. Oh, in shape, please. Yeah. I think it's just because of all the angles and all the material that's this in one? there. No, there's a rigidy looking one. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks really expensive. So uh, I found out the best way to make anything larger, and people want big stuff. So they found out the big, uh, better way to do it is to make it in yourself, or like in your house with a printer, and then make it in layers. So that's why I brought this one. Oh, my t printer's not that big, it's only five uh, inches big, and I like, print it a size. So I make uh, make them into pieces, and he does the same thing, he uh, yeah. uh, puts together uh, multiple pieces, and then I glue them together, then I prime them and sand them, paint them, uh, and then I found out I can make more money selling stuff like this, uh, because uh, it's so much more, uh, you can charge more than this, than for something this small, like people don't want to, like, don't want to pay twenty five dollars, thirty dollars for something small, but they will pay coming to us from the bigger. So that's what. I that's a good lesson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is there a Shapeways record? Yeah. There's not. Do you mind saying how what kind of sales you're getting off of the Shapeways ones? Uh, well, it's like uh, like I said, I do mostly this for a hobby. Like I made all these for me, and then I put them on sale. They sold whatever. I think I, I, I sold a couple dozens of these ones, the uh, Breaking Bad. I think I sold only one pair of these guys, these are the Salamanca ones. Uh, but I don't really care because it wasn't for profit. Uh, but then I sold a whole bunch of uh, these ones. The ones that I sold the most is this guy right here. I sold maybe like almost yeah, 400. 400 of them, yeah. That's oh good. God. Yeah, so, uh, and then uh, the uh, Putin, I saw like a couple hundred, I'm not oh, sure how many. Are they uh, all going overseas? Or? <laughs> a lot of them, yeah, they go to uh, Australia. <laughs> uh, as long as they're not going. <laughs> I don't think they go to Russia. That'll be funny when he when he gets one. He tells me, he tells me <laughs> which country they go, but I haven't checked lately. Uh, like every country they go to. Um, but um, I was uh, thinking you should ship him one, but then he'll figure out where you live. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to associate. <laughs> What kind of markup do you have? Uh, yeah, what kind of profit much, uh, I have some of them are like five bucks, some of them are ten dollars. It's just they have like so many different markups and cool. But uh, I think this one is like ten dollars or something because I didn't want to make it too expensive. Yeah. Even though, uh, like I said, I, I like I want to make money, but I also want to sell them. So I uh, I rather have like people enjoy it. So that's why I make them in like different sizes. Like this one over here, I think this one twenty five bucks. Uh -huh. Compared to this one, it's like forty something dollars uh, yeah. because of the size. Because uh, they're like some people, they really wanted one and then they couldn't afford the uh, forty dollar one, mm -hmm. so I made it smaller. And then some people, they're like, "Well, you should make a bigger Putin because I guess they got money and then like, why not?" <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make a big like that size. I, 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 wow. so if somebody orders, I, the beautiful thing about it is that three uh, D printing is that I had this one made in like in two inches. Oh, and I, I forgot to bring these ones, but I have them in colors and some too, and they have different uh, patterns in the, like, uh, um, s like uh, they have a Montana, they have a, uh, like a Rostolium, uh, like pretty much, I have a, like almost 10 of these guys that you can buy in color, but I didn't bring them. And they're like three inches tall and people buy them too. But the beautiful thing I can use the same model is that I can like, scale it up all the way to this size. Yeah. And then you sell them uh, for more. So that's what I do with this guy. I see those guys everywhere. <laughs> yeah, all over the internet. Do you use a um, ZBrush for a lot of your sculpting? Or? No, I try to use ZBrush. Uh, I'm more like a uh, polygon. Uh, I, I, I work with polys better. Oh, and, uh, so that's, uh, that's what I learned. I try to go into ZBrush more. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I like And also, if you think about it, I don't want to spend too much time on each model because. Uh, like then I will start losing money and like if it takes me 30 hours to model or something then I'm not gonna make money so uh, what I do is I try to limit the time like uh, for this guy I think I only spend like a couple hours um, so do you just have like a reference photo you go by and just model like that 
Um, I, if you go to the shape ways, I put pictures of how I, I do uh, the process. You want to take a side picture, a front picture, and then I model. Uh, uh, it's kind of like I already have like a process. Before the first one, this one took me forever because I didn't have a process. Like now, like a side picture, I take like the outline of the face. Kind of like how you model a car, you all the sides and yeah, model like kind of like in layers and stuff like that. So, uh, and then I'll, because I'm also using the picture uh, of the. Uh, the actual person like this one is made out of a no this one is made out of a, like a time magazine uh, picture for chris christie and so uh <laughs> like if you go to look at it's the same exact if you go to shape was a have snapshots of what the picture looks like the model looks like and then side by side yeah and, and uh, uv maps yeah like yeah, i do uv mapping with all with all these guys so is, is it not vertex uh based then it's it's uv on the surface how do, how do you export the Object. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's a long process, but it's uh, it's kind of it has to be UV map, uh, Photoshop. I want like a JPEG file, right. separate, and they have to like put them in a folder. It's a big process. Oh, okay. But gotcha. it's uh, it's uh, it took me a while to get it done. You can export uh, out of uh, ZBrush natively, or, like basically all the data is being kept in the mesh, so the color data is actually in the mesh itself as you're painting it. And when you export, you just export the, uh, I think it's WRL or, no, it's Vermal, it's the yeah. RML. I think it takes both, but like, uh, Ryan Kittleson does that uh, brush. Is Ryan Kittleson? Yeah, I know Ryan. So he, uh, he's the best person to ask for that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know how to use shape. Yeah, I mean, but that file won't necessarily go into a shape waste process. Like or the, uh, it will? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like shape waste takes sure. a whole bunch of files, takes like VRL, OBJs, yeah. uh, SDLs, and all this stuff. It's yeah. just the, and the, the thing about it is that it has to be tricky though, because... Uh, will it take the color though? Yeah. No, I'll show you. Okay. Sure. Yeah, if you use, like if you try to put, because I wanted to say, uh, make it more affordable, and I want to combine like tax so you can buy, like, buy two of these, like two or three or four at the same time. Yeah. I put them in one file. But uh, it won't take it. The only way it will take is only uh, one file, one like WRL file, or whatever, and then one JPEG file per model. It won't take multiple ones. Uh -huh. So it, ha it has a process that you have, and you have to be, comp uh, it has to be uh, sipped together. And so there's a whole process like this. Basically, you have to bake the, all the textures have to be baked in one mesh or one, one uh, texture map. Mm -hmm. So you can have multiple texture maps, is what you're saying. Yep. Yes, <coughs> Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's awesome for now.